Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna do a little project and it's making these cute little llamas. They are so cute and poofy and you can make them uh, with cardstock or you can use felt. I use felt on mine. And I saw this cute little die on, um, on Lily's page and also Lolly. And I thought it was gonna be so cute. I figure let's make one together. And to save time, I have everything cut up, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is the die, and it's from Sizzix. That is the number. It's super, super cute. And this die, it's a thick one. So all you need is two out of the cutting plates. You put your felt, two of the cutting plates, and run it through. And the good thing about these dies is that because it's one of those hard rule dies, you can put two pieces of felt, so you don't have to do one at a time. You put your two pieces of felt, run it through, and it cuts so much easier. Okay, doke, so let's do this. So let's put them together, and let me see if I'm in frame. Okay, so basically all you wanna do is you take your fabric tape, your fabric glue, and we're gonna just glue everything first. So you take your little ear and you start gluing. And he is just so super cute. And you put it right there. Put that one there. And I bought so much felt because I wanna make a lot of these. I'm going to make a few, and then I bought these cute little notebooks from Dollar Tree. Look how cute. Like, really? And it's just a little uh, pad. I thought it would be so cute to make it as happy mail and just gift, you know, a little, a little uh, cute little thing together. So right now, we're just gluing all the extra pieces. And this is part of the tail. Okay, this uh, felt, it's like so fuzzy. So now we want to glue the back of the ear. And, oops, I think I put too much glue. Take that out. And just put it right here, wherever you want your ear to go on the first layer. I take this one, same thing. And let's see. This glue is like really good, really good. It dries super fast too. So we have that. Uh, you also wanna do the tail. And the tail you could put it wherever you want, if you want it a little higher, a little lower. Okay, I'm gonna put the tail right here, like standing. But I think the most trickiest part is these eyes, because these little lashes is just a little V, you know? So we're gonna do that last. Okay, so now you have that piece. This piece, we're gonna glue it on top. So what you wanna do is add your glue to all the edges. So all the edges, we're gonna add glue. But we're gonna leave the bottom piece open because that's where you're gonna stuff it. So add your glue to the legs. And this part here, all you wanna do is glue the edge. If you know how to sew, I think it'll be faster just to slow it but glue works just as fine. And mind you, I have a sewing machine, I just don't know how to use it yet. Okay. So I leave this piece here open, because that's where you're gonna stuff it. So you take your piece and you put it right on top. Okay. Right on top. Leaving this space here open so we can stuff it. So it starts to look like that. 
Then you want to take his little face. You add your glue. Let's put it right here. He's so cute, I swear. All right, this is the part that, oh my God, it's a little tricky because these little eyelashes are so damn tiny. I just glue, oops, sorry. I just glued the tip and add my little circle right to the tip. You see? Turn it around, add your glue to the little circle. This thing is tiny. Oops. See how it comes out? How well done. And then just glue it to his little face. Okay, how well done. Just play with his little lashes. So you got one down. And you take the other one. So unless you have other types of little lashes, I guess you could. You could put other lashes too. Turn it around, add glue to the circle. And we're putting it down. So it goes right here. Then just play with the lashes. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, now the same thing with the face. The, fa the little mouth is also a V with this little piece here. So I just glue the edge, the little tip again. And connect it to that little top piece. Okay. And then just add a glue. Oops, great. Little piece just fell off. Hopefully this is gonna work. Let's try to make this happen. My little piece fell, he broke, but you know what? It's fine, because we can make it work. Just take that, add your little glue. It's just these little triangles are a little tricky. Hold on, okay? And add your little point right here and again this felt oh my god like you, you see my fingers they're all fuzzy add that to the top see how cute so even though that piece broke we could still work with it let me just clean my fingers a little bit get rid of some of that glue and now i like to stuff you can use cotton or whatever i had like this big fat roll of uh yarn and i just kind of like take it apart and we start stuffing so remember that piece that you left open start putting your stuffing in there and don't worry if that comes out because you can always re-glue that again i just probably didn't put enough glue and then you take a little something with it. Hold on. Of course, now it wants to come apart because I'm recording. Let me just glue that piece again. So hold on. Okay, so I'm back. So I already glued that piece again. Once you start stuffing it, it will start opening up a little bit. All you got to do is just add your little glue. Because um, usually I do this, right? Like this has to be like so like close to my face. But because I'm recording, it's like it's kind of far from me. Okay, so once you stuff it, all you have to do is glue this piece. So you take your glue and you seal that section there. Okay. And again, you can make them as fat as you want. You could put also some in his little feet. I love I leave that piece um with just a little bit, I don't make it too fat. I like just his little body and his face area to be fat. But if you want the tail also to be fat, you can uh, put another piece on top and just glue and do the same thing. Okay, so he is done. 
now we're going to put his little, uh, his little, whatever you call you, this little blanket thing. So you glue the back. It's like I'm rushing. I hate these videos to be that long. And, okay, you glue this front here. So you do that. And look how cute. And now basically you start adding your little trim. And this is your trim of choice. And you just add the trim that you want. And again, start gluing. He's just so super cute. And that's the first piece. You see what I mean about all these fuzzies? Like, oh my god, felt? Jeez. Oh, but it just looks so cute and felt. And then we're going to add a pink one on top. So it's up here. Hopefully I'm still in frame. It's like... I have this angle and just get rid of all these little extras you glue right on top of that or wherever you want and this you could put whatever you could just add flowers you know I just like how the little trim looks see how he's coming together and then if you want to add the little pom-pom just to give it another little pop of color. Add more glue. Cut all these little extra fuzzies. Got your little pop on there. How cute, right? Now we're just gonna add a little flower just to give it a little, make it a little extra girly. I'm gonna add a little flower there. And then a little flower on her head. Look how cute. And again, you can add more flowers, you could do whatever you want, you could add the little tassel. Oh, hello, I forgot the little tassel. So you take your piece of string, you make a little knot and let's see this one I'm gonna add one of these little pom-poms that I bought at Hobby Lobby and it's like the stiff one which is perfect which is this one right here you see how it's like a wire so we're gonna take and what I like to do is cut these ends off, put it through the little wire, and do a little twist. And she is done. Isn't she super cute? So we have a few already made. I'm just gonna make more just different colors. So I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And this is the dye again. Bye.